Okay, here for exercise four, we need to create this new, we already have the pneumatics set up, we need to create this PLC connection. Um, so we're gonna get our PLC cards in here uh, from the JIC standard PLC cards. We're gonna put the input and the output card in the diagram. And then we're gonna get a rung. We're gonna get a rung from the um, ladder for Allen Brady PLC, ladder for AB PLC in the rung section we're going to bring in here and then we're going to resize it a little bit uh, let's bring it down we have a few different rows one two three four five rows we're going to use so one two three four five we still have just an extra so we can bring it down one more notch here and then we're just going to follow this circuit example to find out what we need we need the the Electronics on the outside of the input card and the outside of the output card will come from this um, electrical control JIC standard. We need the power source. We we'll bring our, our 24 volt connection and our zero volt connection in for both sides. And then we're going to get the contacts together. We have uh, our switches, I mean, we're going to bring our push button one in here and connect it to the in zero slot. We're gonna get our push button number two. We're gonna connect it to the in two spot. Then we're gonna get this uh, sensor switch. So we go down here to sensor switches in the library and we do a normally open limit switch to connect on in four. Okay, now, this limit switch is the limit switch that we're using up here. So we have this sensor reference point up top and we can name this our limit switch um, one dot exercise four. That way we can distinguish it from any other limit switches in our project file. And then when we come down here to this um, sensor switch, we can find that LS1 for exercise four on the list, double click and make that connection. We now need to make sure that each one of these has power, 24 volts, and that we connect to the common line. On the right side, we need two solenoids. So those are output components, solenoid one, for exercise four, and we need another solenoid on the output two spot, solenoid two for exercise four. And we gotta make sure that we name these uh, with this dot ex4 so that we can find them in our project when there's multiple solenoids that are being connected. Multiple times we have solenoid one or solenoid two, depending on the pneumatic set, we need to be able to find those um, and distinguish them in that linking process. So we connect those to our line. Now we have solenoid one and two, but they're still black because we need to connect them here to our pneumatics. And you do that through the directional control valve. And we want the left side to be solenoid one based on the diagram. So we can actually click here on the left side and then go to this variable assignment and type in our solenoid one to find it. And then we click on the right solenoid we can then see solenoid two and make that connection. We click on the center, we can see both connections are made and at the bottom as well. Now that those are blue because they're connected to across um, onto the pneumatic circuit, we need to add our internal components. Now this is where some of the naming convention can uh, help us out. If we go into our input card here, we're gonna set it up so that we can find these values. We're gonna use underscore for this, for each location underscore EX4, and then I also use the N4 underscore EX4. So I can find those three inputs amidst uh, multiple input cards. And now they're gonna be distinguished for exercise four that I'm on. I gotta make sure that I hit enter as well so that it saves that name. Now that they're in there, I need the components that are on the inside. And I have a whole row of examine if closed um, contacts here. And so I'm going to go to the PLC section for all my electronics inside the PLC uh, rung. Ladder for Allen Brady, ladder for AB PLC, and I'm looking at these contacts. So there's examine if closed. I have one, 
two, three, four, five of them in a row. So I can just bring all these in, connect them as I go. Two, three, four, and five. And then I want one, two, three, four coils. So I'll go to the coils and output energized coils. And these I'm going to name as I put them in there. So I'm going to bring the first one in, give it the same address of B3, B3 colon zero. And then I'm going to add this dot four or dot EX4 to distinguish that coil. I'm going to add a second one. This one, this one is B3 colon one. And then I'm going to add the exercise four so I can find that again and make sure that it's separate from any others in the in the same project file. And I skip over the line and then I have this out zero here. Now this is where I'm going to also put in a trick for the naming convention is I'm going to immediately name it something here that I can find. Because when I search for it, if I just have out zero, there will also be other out zeros in the alias list. So I want this one to be output two. That's what it's connected to. And I'm going to do EX4 here so that I can find it. And that name will, will immediately go away once I make the connection to the output card. And it will take on the name of the spot in the output card that I connect it to. So let me connect these across just to finish the electronics here. Each one like it is in the diagram. Now these internal labels of the output energize are to energize other components on this side. So if I look B3 um, colon zero is activating this contact, the fourth one down. So I need to go here. And I need to find that B3 zero spot. Then once I've found that B3 zero spot and make the connection, and I look at the next one, it's B3 one, needs to be connected to the B3 one spot. So I can do that one. And I already have B3 searched for, and I can make that connection there. So I have these two connected to those top two. These three are connected to the input card. And the first one is connected to N0. So I named it N0 underscore EX4 so I could find it. I come here and I search in N0 EX4. I can make that connection. I then go to the next one. It's supposed to be N2. N2 EX4. I can make that connection. Come to the next one. I want that one to be connected to input four. Here's my input four, then all three of those are connected. That's fairly straightforward. Next is I want to connect the output card. Now you can double click on this output coil. You can search for out and you can connect to the card this way. It's easier though, when you have multiple cards and multiple diagrams in one project file to actually enter into the output card, make sure you select or highlight this spot that you're looking for. Then when I search for out, I can find the output out zero EX4 without being confused on other output aliases. I can make that connection. And then I need the out two to be connected to the out two. And you notice this, once I make that connection, like I said, the coil takes the name of the output card spot. So I come here and I want to connect to out two. So I'm making sure out two is highlighted. And then I go to the out two and it changes its name immediately. Then I need to check and verify that my connections work and simulate the process. I can push the push button and see that it works. I can also double track through these green arrows to see that input zero is making this, there's a green on input zero and there's a green on the examinative closed contact of input zero. There's a green on the output zero and a green on the output zero of the card. So there's a connection. If I hit play, and there's not a connection there, then this output card will not turn green like this. And I know that there's my, a connection problem in my linking. 